Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to show you how I do ghost flames. Not only am I going to show you how I paint them, but I'm going to show you how to lay them out too. I know when I first started, I used to watch people lay them out and it looked really easy. And when I went to try to lay them out, it wasn't so easy. So I'm going to break it down for you. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. Leave me some comments, good or bad. Check out my Amazon affiliate links down below for the products I use in this video and all my other videos. With that, let's get started. Okay, so before we actually start laying it out on the panel with the tape, I want to show you how to draw it out and explain to you exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to start with an arc. And we're going to call these in and out. Okay, this is out. And this is in. Now, you start with an out arc, you come in, and then back out. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to follow. And as you're following, get a little wider and come around. So we'll call this follow. So now once you do that, when you're coming back up, you're going to want to have an, you're going to go the opposite. You started with out before, now you're going to go with an in. Okay, so your first arc is going to be in to out to in. Okay. In. Out. In. So as you can see the pattern, they're opposite. You went out, in, out. Now all of a sudden you're going to out, in. In, out. Out, in. Okay? So when you're bringing up this out arc, you want to bring it up fairly close to your follow arc on your first one. Now again, once you have the in, out, in arc drawn, you're going to follow it back down. And as you're following it, you're just going to gradually get thicker. Okay. All right. Now I'd be a little bit more smoother with the tape, but so now we're going to go again. So if you started with your first arc upon uh, was in, this one's going to be out. Then you're going to go in and then out. So again, your first arc is out because your last on your other side was in. And this was out, so this is in. And then this was out. And then you just keep doing that. You're going to do your follow. And it just keeps repeating itself. The key takeaway here is once you go out in out, you do your follow and then you reverse it. If you started with out, you go in, out, in. You're just going reverse. And then you got your follow. So on your left side of your flame is your in, out, in, or out, in, or, or out, in, out. And on your right side of your flame is always your follow, okay? Out, in, out, you got your follow. That's out, so that's in. And that's out. And we could have brought that up with another in if you'd like. I just finished it off there because my flame's getting smaller, but any, in any rate, it's the same thing. Uh, and then your follow. So with that, principle or concept in mind, we're going to start laying out our panel. All right, so I got my panel secured down with a little bit of tape so it doesn't slide on me. Uh, I'm going to be using eighth inch. This is K-Tape. This one is by Custom Shop, uh, and it's eighth inch, just like fine line tape. 
it's a plastic tape or vinyl tape, just like uh, scotch. Now, this is, was always my go-to. Um, this is, happens to be quarter inch. I get this in quarter and eighth. Um, I like both sizes to work with, but when I'm doing something with really tight curves or anything, I like the eighth inch. Um, I find that this custom shop tape performs just as well. Um, with that, let's lay out some, uh, some flames. All right, so kind of going by with the reference that you uh, just drawn, um, I'm going to start with a starting point. I'm going to start down at the edge of my panel. Now, I like to hold the roll within a couple fingers, keep a little bit of tension on it, and take this as your drawing finger. This is what you're going to draw with. Okay, so your index finger. Put it along the tape, and just start sliding. Now, as you can see this roll, I'm not really holding. I'm just holding slight tension on it with my fingers up against the roll itself. Okay, so you just want to take and just start sliding it. And there's your out. You want to come back to your in. Okay. I usually just lay my blade on there and just pull the tape because you don't want to cut into your surface. And now we're going to start there. Again, this is your follow line. Okay, so you want to come back. And as you're following, you just want that to get a little thicker all the way down as you go. And here's where your turn's going to be nice and tight. I'm going to switch fingers there for a minute and go lefty. You want to try to make this nice and smooth. Try to make it as smooth as you can coming around there. Now, this is where you're going to go. This is where you're going to go to your in. So you're coming out, you're going to go your in. To your out, where you come up almost by the flame. And then back out. Okay. And lay your blade down. Pull your tape. And just continue on doing that. So just follow your reference, continue on doing that. I'll speed up the video and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so one other thing we got to do before we get painting, we're going to mask this up. I'm going to mask it up with some transfer tape. I've seen a lot of guys do it with, uh, you know, regular masking tape. And they put a whole bunch of tape in there and they got to cut it out. I prefer to use, you know, 6 inch or 12 inch transfer tape. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But one thing I do want to point out that I'm going to be using Wicked Colors. Uh, they're Pearl Colors from their Pearl line. And this is White Pearl. Again, other thing I want to note is right on the bottle it says... Reduce with 4011, so that's the reducer I'm going to use because that's the reducer that's recommended to go with the paint. The other thing is, I want to show you real quick, is that I got this idea from uh, Bill Kennedy over at W. Leon Artistry. He does a lot of great videos on airbrushing. Go over and check them out. Um, I happened to buy this right off of his, one of his links, and it's really cool. It's just a test tube uh, vibrator. You put your paint down on that, and anything, if you don't know about pearls, pearls have these little particles inside, you know, the pearl itself, I don't know, some might be synthetic, some might be real, but it has the little particles of pearl in there and they really need to be mixed very well. And this little contraption does it really, really well. So uh, with that, I'm gonna tape this up offline and I'll see you back on the other side. All right, cool. Now, once you're all taped up, you wanna take your X-Acto knife or razor blade, make sure all your tape's pushed down. You can see your tape underneath there and you're gonna use that tape as a guide to do your cutting. Now, again, if you didn't see my video on uh, how to cut transfer tape without cutting into your material, go check that out. I'll pop a link down below. But 
For this, you can press a little harder. You just don't want to press all that hard where you're going through the tape. But you're going to use your tape as your guide and just cut right along on top of that tape. Okay, now once you think you got it all cut, you want to remove, remove the tape from the inside of the flames. Again, if you didn't see my video on cutting tape, go check that out. But this is a weeding tool. This weeding tool will allow me to get into and weed up that tape without damaging my surface. Whereas if I try to go in with this blade, I run the risk of damaging the surface. So I'm a real big fan of the weeding tool. So let's get this tape out of here. All right. All right. So the key here, too, is you also want to make sure when you cut your tape or remove all your tape that you only see whatever color tape you want to see that line, whatever, whether it be orange, blue, yellow, whatever it would be, your tape, that you see that line and not this masking tape over into your surface. So I'm going to clean this panel off, get my fingerprints off of it. I'm going to come back. And we're going to paint it. All right. I got my gun loaded up. I'm using a WADA HPCH Highline. It runs a 0.3 needle. So what we're going to do is you should not really be able to tell that you painted this piece until you take the tape off. So you're not looking to layer and layer and layer this. We're going to put one, maybe two layers on it at most. Okay. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be hitting the tape right here at about 50%. Also, again, I have this, uh, I have my mixture probably about one to one right now with my 4011. And the goal here is going to be trying to paint about 50% on the tape and 50% onto the flame. You just want to follow your tape line. So that's one layer. Hit that little, little air. Let's go back and give it a second one. So you just faintly want to see that and if you start seeing it too much you probably you probably went too heavy it's gonna be hard for that to be picked up you can kind of see as I flash it around you can see the light above it okay it's hard to see so that's two coats um, some people like to go three a little heavier it really depends on the look you're looking for but let's uncover and see what we got. So I'm not sure if you can see that yet. I think you can probably start seeing it now. Um, that looks really good. And that's only with two light coats. So we're going to clear that. And once I clear that, it's even going to melt it in to the background even more. And, uh, it looks pretty good. Well, there you have it. The finished product. I'm very happy the way it turned out. A couple coats of clear on it. So it might be kind of tough to see with the glare, but as you can see, it really does depend on what angle you look at it. That's how you can see the flames. So overall, very satisfied with it. All right, well, there you have it. A relatively easy project. Hope you liked this video. If you do, please consider subscribing. Please check out all my Amazon affiliate links down below. Leave me some comments. 
good or bad. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. It really helps build this channel. With that, keep on airbrushing, and we'll see you in the next video.